An outstanding opening at Meeks. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Instant Replay Post Game Report. The University of Evansville women's basketball team had a lot of new faces in new places, but still looked to put their stamp on their new venue here at the Meeks Family Fieldhouse at Lois D. Patton Court. And they did just that against Murray State. Let's go to the highlights. Aces head coach Matt Ruffing had said throughout the preseason that his new look squad was a work in progress. However, they come out in mid-season form against the Racers. In the offseason, Evansville picked up graduate guard Hannah No from Southeast Missouri and she pays immediate dividends both inside and out, putting the Aces out in front early. Still in the opening stanza, No turns to a veteran of the purple and junior Carrie Gasper responds. First, she dials in from long distance with the corner tray. Next, she gets the rock and rolls inside for the deuce, putting the aces in the driver's seat. Then it's back to No, who closes out the first quarter with a pair of threes, and when the smoke clears, the aces are on fire up 17 after one. Evansville keeps its foot on the gas in the second quarter. Marley Miller comes off the bench and goes coast to coast with a hoop and the harm. Sophomore guard Macy Lively then sets up shop from beyond the arc and hits. And just like that, Evansville's lead balloons to 41 to 22. Then Kelsey Scott gets involved and the junior transfer from Olney Central makes an immediate impact on both Murray State and the scoreboard. And the Aces go into the locker room up 18 at the break. At the half, the University of Evansville honored both the Meeks family as well as Lois Patton for this first game held at the Meeks Family Fieldhouse on Lois Patton Court. After the pomp and circumstance, the Aces keep their lead at double digits as Kelsey Scott continues her impressive debut, one that would end with her scoring a double-double. And combined with Hannah No's perfect purple premiere, Evansville keeps the racers in a 16-point hole after three. But Murray State would turn up the heat in the final frame, led by Kashun and James and her 30-point performance, eventually cutting the UE lead to three late. However, Hannah Noe and company would put this one away at the foul line, closing out a rousing 89-81 victory. After the game, I caught up with a very happy head coach, Matt Ruffing, as well as the three stars from the game, namely a newcomer Hannah No, rookie Kelsey Scott, and veteran Kerry Gasper. If we play one game, the best you can be is 1-0, but... Uh, you know, we haven't played in here since 2000, so you're talking 17 years uh, since the last win. I told our girls, we only got one shot. There's only one first game in the Meeks Family Fieldhouse when we come back. We have one shot to get a win, and we want to make sure that we get the win because, you know, there's been a lot of people that have come before them, a lot of coaches that have come before me, and, you know, that's who we represent. You know, they, they've kind of paved the way for us, and we want to make sure that we build on the tradition and, and make them proud. Well, I think our team came out and really just executed the game plan, and everybody, you know, played hard, played together. Um, honestly, you couldn't ask for a better way to start the season. We knew we needed to, you know, get a win here so we can get more fans back and get some momentum rolling into the season. And I think we just did just that, and it, it felt pretty good. I feel like we come together. Like, we were there for a second. We're like, it felt like five individuals out there, and then in the fourth quarter we kind of just – play together and pull together like we've been trying to every single day in practice huddling every time after the game it shows togetherness and that's what that's what they're trying to instill in the program and instill in us every single day in practice and on the court and it was just like we didn't have to try like I felt relaxed out there because I knew that the girls behind me and the girls beside me would have my back the whole time we I felt like we had control a majority of the game um, it got out of hand a little bit where we weren't in control but we gained it back we stayed poised and we came out with the win. We were just coming out, we were ready to play. Uh, we're excited, first game, new arena. Um, we just wanted to show our fans that we're ready and we're not the same team as years before. Well, I just, I have a lot of confidence. These coaches give me a lot of confidence. My teammates give me like incredible confidence. So, you know, I just come out here and, you know, I do what I do, what I practice, this is what I practice. So I just try to roll it over into games and had a good day, had good passes given to me. I tried telling people even at the YMCA, YMCA luncheon, like, 
I mean, it's a big deal that we got her. I mean, not only to get a grad transfer with her experience, but to kick and shoot it. And, you know, we, we found ways to get her the ball in space today. And, 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 you know, she had a big first half for us. And I know she's going to be disappointed with her second half and maybe passing up that three at the end. But, um, man, she just means a lot to us. And I think the girls feed off of her. And I thought this crowd did, too. I was kind of nervous leading up to the game. And I, in high school, my first varsity game was like this one, double figures. And at Olney, it was the same thing. It was just, I don't know, I get the jitters every time. I've had a good feeling about this game for about two weeks now. I just wanted to prove myself to the coaches, to the girls on the floor, to the fans. I just wanted to make a presence, and I wanted to make sure that the people and the other teams know Kelsey Scott. Once she gets it down low, I mean, the other team's got to make a decision what they want to do, one-on-one -on -one or if they want to double. So uh, luckily today, you know, she, she got some, some good looks and was really under control and, and made some nice shots. I'm hoping, you know, this year that was one of our big things is to really have post play. You know, last year I thought, I thought you know, within, with Sasha Robinson, I thought we could. It just didn't develop. But with some of the skill set we have down low, Kelsey, Tat, Caitlin, I think we can have that and it'll make us much more balanced. I think I did well. Uh, my teammates found me. I found them. We just played well off of each other and um, it just came out to a good outcome. If you would have been in the locker room before the game, uh, you know, and you just saw the nerves, you know, but I tell you, once we hit a couple of shots, this crowd just, those, those nerves just went away and um, what a big energy and help this crowd was. I told the girls before the game, give them something to cheer about and they'll take us to the next level. And I thought that's what happened. And, you know, just really happy for our kids. We put in a lot of work. There's a lot of unknowns with the group that we have, but I'm hoping we're getting this win early. There's a lot of film we can watch and get better but I'm hoping their confidence grows within each other and then within our system. However, no rest for the weary. The UE women's basketball team will just have a day or so to savor this victory before they hit the road to head down to Huntsville to take on Alabama A&M Wednesday night. For the Aces Instant Replay Postgame Report, I'm Joe Downs. The fifth third moment of momentum belongs to Hannah No, the graduate guard from Dexter, Missouri, tallied a game-high 33 points in her Evansville debut. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.